Hey everybody, this is Nemo, and in this video, we will see how to move a PrestaShop website from a local environment to a live website. This means if you uh, developed your site on a platform such as a WAMP or MAMP or XAMP, I mean AMPs, if you did, uh, then uh, we will see how to move this website to a live environment to a live website people can reach without losing all the information you added such as uh, modules uh, and uh, themes and uh, eventually orders if you need basically everything this of course uh, similarly applies to moving a website from a previous uh, web space to a new one so let's get started so here's my local website Presta 156 and I've added a bunch of uh, categories here as you can see I've added a module which is my uh, free header links module I've added another one of my modules here uh, removed a categories block from the uh, folder and uh, I've placed as you can see here I've placed some orders now the first step would be to um, upload your uh, files, all the PrestaShop files, to the real uh, website, to a real live environment. And uh, since I'm working locally, I can uh, simply reach the folder. Let me show you here. If I can bring it on the screen, I can reach my folder, in this case, Presta156, since again I'm developing using WAMP. And then I can copy them all to. Uh, my live site. Now, in this case, I will use uh, my domain called nemops-themes.com, and I want to install my uh, press my new PrestaShop to copy my PrestaShop installation to a folder named uh, Test Presta, for example. So uh, you will see the URL will be nemops-themes.com/slash um, test Presta okay so this will be the URL of course if you are um, moving to uh, main uh, the main folder uh, the root folder of a domain such as again nemo ps uh, themes.com um, you must add all the files in the public HTML or even www folder okay so I will I will move them now to my test press the folder I'll click and move them all so they will be uploaded now of course uh, we have to wait until all files are moved um, I wanted to uh, stress that if you are moving from uh, a live uh, an already live website to another one so if you're just switching your um, web hosting you can use a free service like for example uh, mover.io to uh, move your files without having to download uh, the whole um, the whole uh, root folder the whole home folder and then upload them again you can save some time by registering uh, to mover I will not do this since it's not part of the tutorial but uh, you can register to mover for example and then add your previous hosting uh, credentials the new one and move your files without losing time okay so uh, since we have to wait for all files to be uploaded uh, let's let's just uh, pause the video here so uh, catch up later okay so welcome back all files have now been transferred and it's time to move the database but before we can actually um, create our database on the live site we need to export the previous one in this case I will again log in to my local host my PHP my admin and then I will reach my Presta 156 database then I will go to export and now, depending on the size of your database, you want to choose a quick or custom uh, expert method. You can use quick is if your database is fairly small, but I suggest you use custom and compress either with zip or gzip if your database is large, because otherwise uh, you might run uh, into uh, timeout errors. So uh, some things might not get correctly exported. 
Okay, I will choose quick. I will save. And as soon as it's done, you can see my, my database is pretty small. I can, I can then upload the database and import it to my real web hosting. Here is my uh, control panel. You can see it's Nemo PS themes is basically C panel. I will go to my SQL databases. And no, I uh, just changed my mind. Let's go to the database wizard and create a new one. Uh, I will create a new database called testing. Oops, testing. <laughs> Oops, well, it's okay. It's fine anyway. Then I will create a new user, my test user. And then I will uh, test use, test use, test us, my test us. And then I will create a simple password like password. It's okay anyway, because uh, you will have to copy uh, this password to a safe place somewhere you can uh, easily reach out because then you will have to edit a PrestaShop configuration settings file and add these credentials there. It's pretty weak. Let's see if, yeah, it gets created anyway. I will save this user with all privileges and okay, it's done. Now at this point, let's go back to the cPanel home. Scroll down and click on PHP my admin. So I will open this new PS thing and here is our weird Tetsing database. It's empty, of course. So let's fill it in. I will click on import. I will choose my my dump and open. Okay, go. This might take some time, depending on the file size, of course, and the server uh, configuration and performance. So uh, if it's taking too long for you, just sit back and take a coffee till it's finished. All right, it's done. And now let's have a look at what happens right now if I try to access my site as it is at the moment. There. You can see the link to the database cannot be established. This is because, as I said before, uh, we need to change the settings on uh, the PrestaShop installation files, uh, the files we uh, removed previously, and um, change the database access credentials. So let's do it now. Let me bring this window on top. Now, these are my files on the server. Again, I'm using FileZilla here. I will open the config folder, bring on top my uh, one of my uh, folders here, and download the settings.enc.php file. Now at this point you can use any uh, text editor. Um, I'm gonna use Sublime Text, but feel free to use any any editor really. So now uh, a couple of things to notice here. Let me let me let me make some room first. And okay, so yes, here we have our settings. First of all, the database server usually is enough to leave a local host, uh, unless you have uh, a different uh, directive from your uh, hosting company. Just leave local host; it should be fine in on most uh, environment. The database name. Now we know our our database is now called uh, Nemo PS Tetsing because of my typo. A uh, DB user was I forgot already, so I have to go back and check. It was my test us maybe. It was yes my test us. So let me just copy this one. This is the user and password was password in my case. Oops. Password. Okay, you can leave the rest as it is. Save. Now, take that file again and upload it back to 
the live server. Yes, I want to override settings. And now let's see what happens if I reload. You can see the site works. But, however, um, there is a small thing to notice because it seems like it's working. But notice how my, um, my URL has changed. I'm back to the local environment. And this is because the settings in the database are still pointing and redirecting our website to the local version. Now, the first thing we should do is go to the main folder and delete the HD access file, which basically holds all uh, the redirections of the website. Then on the database, uh, we'll look for the configuration table and I will search for a configuration parameter named uh, uh, domain, because there are two. Like this, go. And you can see here we have PS shop domain and PS shop domain SSL. But notice both are pointing to our local host. You must absolutely change this thing here, this value, to the URL of the website. So in my case, Nemo PS themes.com. So I will edit value here, oops, dot com. First one and second one. Okay, this is done. Uh, the very last step that should be required is going to PS shop URL. And you can notice here I had two shops on my, on my testing environment, but we're only interested in the first one. Again, the domain is uh, nemops-themes.com. I believe we can just leave out the HTTP part. Not sure, let's see. Uh, then, again, domain SSL, same thing. And then the physical URL is the name of the folder relative to your um, web space where files are stored. Now, if previously I was on localhost slash Presta156, now I am on nemops-themes.com slash, uh, was it uh, test Presta, I guess. Yes, test Presta. So this must be changed to test Presta. So let's try and access our our uh, back office, our live back office now. So I will go to Nemo PS that uh, the dash sorry themes slash test Presta slash admin two thousand ninety nine. Let's see if it works. Yep, seems I'm here. I will log in. And uh, right. Uh, now, my credentials, I think I forgot them. Let's see. Uh, yep, <laughs> I'm logged in now. And yeah, we're basically done. Let's do a couple more checks. So, on the SEO and URLs menu, I will scroll down and check if everything is okay. Okay, yes, everything seems to be running fine. So let's just test accessing our our website. And uh, it seems I forgot a trailing slash here. So let's remove the trailing slash from here. Save it again. And once more, check out our shop. Oops, still showing up. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, seems the page is not available for some reason. Uh, let's troubleshoot. This thing's happened, so I will not erase this. It might be, it might be because I have to regenerate an HD access file. So I will save this part of the page here. And uh, let, me, let me first remove friendly URLs 
there is a chance it's not active on this server. I, I forgot quite honestly. Let's go back to the home page. And yeah, bingo. It's working. It's our very same self hosted PrestaShop website, the one we previously had locally. Let me try and see if I can enable friendly URLs again. Because they might be broken on this uh, on this side. Let me refresh. Yeah, it seems they are kind of broken on my on my testing uh, environment. But uh, in any case, uh, this is this is the way to go. Uh, if you're having problems with uh, friendly URLs as I'm having here now. Just uh, contact your hosting provider and be sure you have mod rewrite enabled on your server. Okay, so this is everything for this TUT, for this video. As always, feel free to contact me at nemo at nemops.com com, if you have other questions. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.